Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Jason Santos, your teacher for Practical Research 2. And for today, we are continuing Practical Research 2. We are already in Module 2, identifying the inquiry and stating the problem. Now, what we will be covering today is a part of a larger topic, which is a Quarter 1, Module 2. So, I, I have just selected one topic, which is designing a research title. And um, ito, this is a question that has been often thrown at me many, many times. And I would like to give you a simple but a surefire solution on how would you come up with a title in less than 5 minutes. Yes, I'm not kidding. Research title in less than 5 minutes with just answering few simple questions. Now, as a reminder, ano nga ba yung significance ng title? The title summarizes the main ideas or idea of your study. A good title contains few possible words, so dapat konti lang siya, and adequately describes the contents and or purpose of your research paper. The title is without the doubt the part of a paper that is read the most. Meron nga tayong kasabihan na first impressions last. So, kung ano yung makita nila sa title would indicate whether they should be interested in your study or no. So, you really need to put emphasis on creating the best title. And yun yung nagiging problema ng karamihan ng mga students. So, in line with that, I would like to show you an activity that is available in the modules. Okay, You may have seen this already. But this may have not been explained to you by your teachers yet. Kaya marami yun na mong problema. How do you come up with a title? Okay? So, this is uh, an activity trying to find out what interests you. So, there are a couple of questions na kailangan mo lang sagutin. Like, one, what is your chosen senior high school track? Nasaan ka ba na track? Uh, what are the top three things that you excel doing? Meaning, ito yung mga bagay na ginagawa mo and you are good at it. Let's say these are subjects na talagang mataas yung grado mo or these may be sports na talagang you really excel. Ano? You're getting awards and achievements for it. What are the top five things that makes you happy? No? This could be non-academic. Any activities, personal activities, hobbies, um, aspirations and all na gusto mong gawin. The bottom line here is these things make you happy. Like ako, if you're new to the channel, you might be wondering bakit ang konti ng mga discussions ko and mas marami yung laruan. Your toys makes me happy. No? Yun yung escape ko from my normal um, life of or professional life of working as a as a professor uh, as an insurance agent and many other things the toys so you could put there five things that makes you happy and then three things that you find interesting so ito yung mga bagay na nakakapagpa-interest sa iyo or interesado ka pang mas malaman na mas malalim now what we will do is we will try to answer this and then from the answers, let's come up with a research title. Okay, so right now we have a pre-filled form and uh, this is just an example. No? Let's say your chosen track is ICT. No? It, again, it could be anything. I might be speaking to Humes, ABM, STEM students, so on and so forth. And then the top three things I excel doing, dito siya mataas yung grades niya or uh, highly interested siya, mataas yung nakukuha niya ng mga grado, mataas yung performance level niya for these subjects. No? Uh, it could be programming, English, and animation. It could be anything, but this uh, example uh, serves those three things na gusto niya and excels on doing those. Now, top five things that makes the person happy would be Anime, yan, common yan sa mga bata. No? Ako, even at my age, I still watch a couple of animation. Um, music, no? you listen to a, set, a, a special type of music. It could be rock, it could be hip-hop, depends no? what your, on what your tastes are. Um, it could be playing games, like yan, maraming sa atin ngayon, ano? into uh, playing games. Da dahil uh, sa situation that no, we are in a, a pandemic, most, most of the time we are just 
trapped at home, ano, doing nothing. And um, a lot of the activities surrounding that would be playing mobile games or console games. And um, if walang quarantine, you can play basketball. And yan, that what, that's what makes you happy, no? playing basketball. And then drawing. No? It could be um, painting, drawing, uh, putting colors. Meron din na digital drawing no? na applications. Ano? So, and then the three things that I find interesting are, since mahilig nga siya sa drawing, interested siya in animation. No? Maybe he wants to find out what is the process of uh, doing an anime. No? Paano ba ginagawa yun? No? I'm really interested on that. And then since mahilig siya sa gaming, um, one of the uh, popular games right now is in Axie Infinity because you have a chance to earn, no? play to earn uh, with the involvement of cryptocurrency. Okay, so crypto gaming and then designing. No, when you create a game, it's a tedious process. Hindi siya ganun kadali, no? You design a lot of things, and it involves art. It involves a programming, so on and so forth. So these are some examples that are tied to a typical um, ICT or uh, a normal student. Uh, correction on that, not a typical, but maybe a normal student. No, that just interested on the following topic so out of answering the activity we were able to create five sample titles imagine ano five titles kagad and that's just um a tip of the iceberg but napakadami natin pwedeng gawin out of all those information no na nilagay natin dun sa four questions na yon uh, one example title would be Crypto Gaming, the future of basketball games adopting the cryptocurrency design. So, isn't that interesting? And what if in the future there will be a, a basketball game, let's say NBA, by my NBA 2K, no? NBA 2000. Um, but this time, it's going to be play to earn. No? So, imagine the excitement and the joy of uh, people Especially if you're into basketball, you're into gaming, tapos nalaman mo merong cryptocurrency basketball game. No? I'm sure many would jump on the wagon on that. And, and uh, that's a good research. No? Pwede mong tanongin yung mga tao, would you be interested in that? Ano yung mga rules na sa tingin mo should be uh, put into play when, do, when uh, creating that? Or maybe you can be focused on the design. Like how are you going to design that specific game how are you going to embed cryptocurrency on that so napakadaming questions surrounding that no that's a very good title another good um, ICT title would be digital imaging like how it shapes modern industry so totoo yan ano uh, there's actually um, a phenomenon right now which is uh, the 3D printing okay with 3D printing you can uh, produce a lot of things out of just digital images no yung iba nga ginagamit pa nila yung uh, 3D printing on creating surgical equipments o di kaya um, human organs no parts for the human organ imagine ano lahat ng mga bagay na yan can now be done thanks to the technology so that's a very good topic okay how can we enhance digital images or if you are into uh, designing or programming how can you um, envision no the future of digital imaging okay ako when i was in college no gusto ko sana mag fine arts however the grade requirements for fine arts was really high at the university uh, where i studied kaya hindi ako nag end up in fine arts but um the future uh, was very good no for fine arts have i taken it no meron tayong digital imaging now and many people are earning just by uh being at home being a graphic artist okay so that's one topic that you can also explore no internet gambling and its bad effects to filipinos so yan marami di ba ngayon common statement ngayon sinasabi lang talpakan na no or nag-online sabong or um Playing many gambling games online. Now, this is a good research because it deals with top, uh, ethical topics no? or ethics. So, society issues. No? 
So, hindi ka lang nakafocus sa IT, you're also addressing an issue. And yun naman talaga yung purpose of coming up with the research, right? To answer problems or to provide solutions to problems. Um, animated comics and the future digital reading. So, totoo yan, ano? Uh, right now, the problem of the government is the production of modules. So, why not explore a future where in wala nang printed modules? Wouldn't that be nice na we are no longer cutting trees? no? Or maybe decreasing the cutting of trees to produce modules? no? Ilang puno ba yung uh, kinakat per year para makapag-produce ng mga modules? I am also an advocate of tree planting no? and forest preservation. So, if we could produce digital reading materials na hindi na tayo kailangan gumawa ng mga modules na pinagpapasapasahan where you can also transmit diseases, no? Aba, that would be a very nice um, future, no? So, yan, magandang research topic din yan. That is ICT related. And then, internet security and hacking problems with the digital music platform. So, maraming digital music platforms. You have YouTube Premium, you have uh, Spotify, many others. And there are uh, Apple Music one for another. And then there are cases wherein some people are reporting na hack yung account nila o di kaya they are getting charges with the day which they did not authorize. So that's another topic ano, that you could explore as an ICT student. Now, summarizing it all, if you would dig deep in these titles, you would notice na lahat ito ay kinuha natin from the questionnaire you answered earlier. Like playing games, basketball, uh, programming, okay? animation, design, music. Lahat ng mga bagay na yan ano, are contributory to creating these research titles. So, Napakadali lang, to be quite honest, ang paggawa ng research title. You, you just need to know yourself. No? Minsan kasi that, uh, sa mga students, medyo nakakram sila when they are thinking, oh, I have to come up with a research title, pasahan na sa ganitong date. No? Wala siyang maisip. Or every time na may naiisip siya, ay eh, pinapresent sa teacher, na decline Right? Because it's common, no? or... Pag tinanong ng teacher, so what do you mean by this, hindi niya ma-explain. Kasi hindi naman yun yung interest niya eh. No? So dapat, pag gumawa ka ng title, nandun yung interest mo. And you are really, you really want to know how you can research it and provide solution for existing problems. Okay? And then one more thing that you can do is to tell me about your problems. No? Do a mini-survey asking people about their problems. So, pwede yan, within your community, no, gawa ka ng Google Form, mini-survey. You can ask your parents, your friends, your relatives, your schoolmates, ano ba yung mga problems ninyo na setting in ninyo, mabibigyan natin ng ICT solution. Kasi ICT tayo. Pero kung, let's say, ABM ka, business solution, right? So, make a survey online or offline within your community to determine their problems. So, Again, ano, boiling it down to the purpose of research. The research should be able to address issues, problems. No? Lahat naman ng innovation sa buhay and modern innovations, if you would see, ay bunga ng mga problema na sinusolusyonan. Right? So, hindi tayo makalabas. Mahirap yung mga transaction. Ano yung mga lumalabas ngayon? Online payments, no? Gcash, Paymaya, online banking. So, yun, hindi mo na kailangan magpunta sa bank, no? Madali na lang. Even 7-Eleven and other um, grocery stores have become a peripheral of banking. Kasi doon ka na magka-cash out, doon ka na rin magka-cash in, so on and so forth. Now, I hope you have learned something from this very short discussion and I hope after this you would be able to come up with your own research title in five minutes no? with the help of your friends, your classmates, and your teacher. Now, um, for more videos like this, check out my playlist. Now, if uh, Again, no, I would like to apologize if you find my channel a little bit confusing because I publish a lot of toy videos. Um, if you are here to uh, check out my lectures, just go to my playlist. I have tons of playlists 
for senior high school students, for college students, ranging on different topics, no? particularly business. So, you can also reach me on the following channels, no? in YouTube, in Facebook, in LinkedIn. Now, with that, thank you so much, and I, uh, I hope no, you are safe. God bless, and see you on my next video.